welcome back guys hope you all had a beautiful christmas celebration guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to wash your cow food before you use it to cook any of your dishes so if you're a cow food lover this video is for you the first thing is to throw in my chopped cow food into the pot Once that is done, the next step is to pour in some water into the cow food. And the next step is to transfer to the gas to cook for 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, this is what is floating out of the cow food. Do we call them muko or dead or excess fat? That is what you're seeing floating out of the cow food. So guys, if you just go to the market, buy these beautiful cow foods, wash them, parboil them and throw them into your soup or stew. This is what you're eating unknowingly. So guys, can you see all what is floating out? These are excess, excess fat and dirt out of the cow food. Now I'm going to wash it nicely with clean water and this is what we've got i'm going to repeat the same process boil it for 10 to 15 minutes and we'll be back and now the cow foot is bubbling and you can see again look at the excess fat dirty or whatever that has floated out of the cow foot so guys you do this process two or three times to get off all this excess dirt and fat that we don't need and the next step is to cut off all the excess bone personally i do not like bone so if you like chewing bone or sucking bone you can omit this process but for me as a person i do not like the bone the bones are so big so i'm separating all the bones out of the cow foods and guys in so doing we are going to find out some extra excess fat that is still hiding in the cow food and we are going to cut them off as you can see me doing i'm just separating the bone out of the fleshy parts so guys look at the look at the cow food as you can see they are all bony 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 there are some that i can just remove the bone from the flesh as you can see me doing because they are parboiled and the ones that my hand cannot separate like that i will use the knife to do it as you can see these are fat that i'm cutting off and the next thing is to cut off the flesh out of the bone to separate them nicely so guys i will continue this process until i complete chopping all the bone out of the cow foot so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing just press the subscribe button and turn your bell on so you'll be notified instantly whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for pressing that subscribe button i truly appreciate thank you so guys we'll continue separating the bone from the cow foot So guys can you see all the bone that came out of the cow food and those are the fats that we cut off as well and these are all the excess bone that we don't need so the last thing is just to rinse it out and i will transfer them into the freezer bag to store them in the freezer bag so whenever i want to cook i'll bring out the quantity that i need and you throw back the remaining one back into the fridge so because this one has been cooked if you are using it together with any beef or any chicken or whatever you first of all parboil the beef or the chicken 
then you throw this one halfway because they are halfway cooked so this is how to wash and prepare your cow foods nicely before you use it to make any dishes of your choice hope you find this video useful thank you so much for watching please leave your comments in the section box below and if you haven't subscribed please consider pressing the subscribe button once again thank you so much and and i will see you in my next video have a blessed time and enjoy the remaining days of the year bye